Don't like crowds? Couldn't get away? No worries, mate. We scour every booth to find the latest cool stuff for you. Here's what I found at the boat show. We're here at the Annapolis Boat Show with Steve with Ding Ease. He's got a new product that you really need to check into. It could make your life better. Steve, tell me how it works. The, uh, the idea of the rail is to get you in and out safely and comfortably in any inflatable boat. The whole idea arose out of uh, my wife having creaky knees. What we found out is that anybody over the age of 12 who actually cruises, the only part of it that's not fun is the getting in and out of the inflatable. And if you do that, you have to come back from dinner and sit on the dock and find the inflatable and get in or crawl out of it, that gets old quickly. So what started as a product for us older boaters turned into a comfort product for lots of people. And how it works is very simple. Wherever you are, if you're on your, uh, on your sailboat, you want to get into the inflatable, you can just grab this and pull the boat into you and then just step on the pontoon and step in the boat. And that's it. Try and dislodge me. <laughs> its other trick is getting out. And this is what getting out looks like without crawling along the dock. That's it. That's how it works. There's a different install for every type of boat. This particular boat is here because this is the one they said you couldn't do, raise a rigid rail and a soft boat. But that's in fact exactly what we did. This is a soft hull and the soft hull boat is the most complicated and difficult to install anything in. Here's what we did. We make our own polyurethane glue-on pads with a hole in the center that a rail can fit in and that gets glued on right in the front of the boat. And then we through bolt a small hinge in the transom for that same rail. But before we slide the rail in and fix it in the hinge, we take the master hinge, which comes with the leg attached and comes in two parts where it's bolted together and this is just the way it comes in the package. You slide it onto the rail and once it's in place, you tighten up the bolts and it's locked in place. But when you want to fold the bar down, you just pull the quick pin like that and the bar will come right down. Where it's below the level of the bow pontoon and narrower than the boat, there's no way that the bar can hit the boat at all. You could secure it with a bungee against the pontoon and then turn this boat over and the bar still won't hit the ground. So that's how simple the installation is in the most complicated type of boat to raise a rigid rail. Now let me show you what's involved if you have a hard bottom flat floor. That's the whole thing. Two of these. This is the same idea but the hinge is a plate with the welded ears and this gets, we send a fiberglass uh, uh, support shoe out with the hinge. 3M's 5200 goes under the shoe and under the plate four self-tapping screws and you're finished. Now you see why I said this is a new idea. If I'd have had this, it would save me a whole lot of embarrassing situations. You want more information, go to ding-ease.com.